Hi, I am John Erickson, uh, Master Golf Instructor at Advanced Ball Striking. Today, I'm going to answer the age-old question of why do I slice the golf ball? <laughs> Every golf instructor has had this question <laughs> uh, fired at them, even their first day at work. I've been hearing this for decades. Why do I slice the golf ball? You slice the golf ball because you don't come into impact correctly. What we call the third parallel, meaning first, par first parallel, second parallel, third parallel. From the third parallel, you don't have the club shaft, the club face, coming into the golf ball correctly. <clears throat> so what we teach is the proper spatial awareness so that we understand where the shaft needs to be, where the club face needs to be, and what the body needs to do, including the rotation of the forearms, wrists, uh, the shoulders, torso, leg action, all of that. Once we learn how to strike properly from the correct launching pad of the third parallel into impact, then the rest just takes care of itself. We know this to be true because we've seen all kinds of different backswings. We've seen tour winners taking the club outside and dropping it in. We've seen people pulling it inside and moving up and then rerouting back down. There's any number of ways to load the club, turn the shoulders, that sort of thing, at the top of your backswing. We've seen people laid off at the top. We've seen people crossed over at the top that all don't slice the golf ball because they know what to do at the third parallel coming into impact. So we start there. We take that on immediately and correct that. Once you know your spatial awareness, you know what to do from the third parallel into impact, then the rest just takes care of itself. Because regardless of what your backswing is, your natural way that you like to take the club back, you're gonna start rerouting that club to get it on that launch pad at the third parallel to come into impact correctly. That's advanced ball striking.